Hi guys, welcome back to some more of the secure specimen material practice. Uh, we're going through question by question, so check out the other videos in this little series. Um, I will link to them all around the place. And this question is going to be about fish. Question two. Um, so we're looking at how fish do gas exchange. If you haven't seen my video already on this, click um, around up here somewhere, um, and I'll put a card there to link you directly to that. Um, but for the time being, I think this is a really poor question because it asks you to explain two ways in which the structure of fish gills is adapted for gas exchange. And there is a real temptation for students to go and dive into countercurrent. But if we look, countercurrent is the second part of the question. So we've got to be thinking about other stuff. Luckily, this is a nice accessible question. So structure of fish gills. And the key thing here is that we're explaining it. So we're not just saying what it is. We're saying why that's beneficial. So, here we go. Straight in, fish gills, um, they have filaments and they have gill lamellae. And the purpose of these is to massively increase surface area. So let's go for uh, gill filaments and lamellae, spell it right, mele, uh, equals increased surface area. Now this all comes back to fixed law. Okay, The more surface area you have, the more um, you're going to increase the rate of diffusion. So all of this is going to come back to, if I just pop it up here somewhere, rate of diffusion is directly proportional to uh, surface area times by um, concentration difference, concentration difference, divided by uh, diffusion distance. And the idea is the stuff on the top, you want to be as large as possible. And the stuff on the bottom, you want to be as small as possible. The bigger the number on the top, the faster the rate of the fusion. The smaller the number on the bottom, then the more, um, also the more the rate of the fusion. Because we're trying to divide through. Mathematicians, stick some numbers into it, it'll work out beautifully. Um, so we've dealt with surface area. What else can we deal with here? Um, we can deal with uh, diffusion distance. Uh, the gills are, are ridiculously thin. They've got a very short diffusion pathway. So let's go for um, thin surface, or just thin even, which means there is a short diffusion distance. So that's like two parts of fixed law taken care of, short diffusion, whoops, distance. So the third one, realistically, um, down here, countercurrent, is going to relate to the one that we're missing, which is concentration gradient. It's about maintaining a concentration gradient. Please, please, please check out my video on this. Um, I'm quite proud of it. I think it's rather good. Again, click the link. It's around somewhere. Um, so first, first things first, we should probably say what the countercurrent system is. The idea is that blood and water pass over the gills in opposite directions. They flow over past each other uh, in opposite directions. So you've got blood going one way um, and then the water that's being forced um, over the gills uh, is being forced in opposite directions. Okay, so that's definitely going to be one mark. Okay, um, then what we've got to do is say why that is beneficial. And the idea is there is always going to be always more oxygen in the water relative to the blood. So the most oxygen rich water is coming into contact with the most oxygen rich blood and the least oxygen rich water is always coming into the contact with the least oxygen rich blood. But nevertheless, what you're really wanting here is we're maintaining a favorable concentration gradient maintaining a favorable so it's benefit the fish concentration gradient and the idea that this will lead to is you will have diffusion of oxygen occurring 
in the right direction um, into the fish's blood across the entire length of the gill. Okay, And we never reach equilibrium. So this means uh, equilibrium is never reached. This is probably overkill, this really. Equilibrium never reached. Not reached. And diffusion occurs over the full length of our gill. And that's, of course, in the right direction. Over whole uh, gill length. And that's, again, a really nice question um, for a, a, a quite a difficult spec here. So I hope that's been useful, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And of course, like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of these videos. I'm going to keep smashing through these questions, keeping uploading them. Uh, I hope you find them useful. Thank